Hi everyone. In the previous video, we have completed the installation of Moodle in our local system. So we were here at this page, localhost Moodle uh, slash Moodle slash my. So at in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to install our local plugin in it. We are going to create our first local plugin in this video, and then uh, what we'll do we will uh, we will be seeing the output of our local plugin over here so to start this video i would like to go to the terminal first and show you that uh, where we are so uh, we are here at in the installation directory where, where www.html moodle slash moodle so in this directory if i ls here you can see that our uh, our uh, all the directories are here uh, which are pre-built during the installation time so if I code dot here then this directory will be opened in uh, uh, Explorer so we have to do cer certain basic configurations to initiate our first plugin so here uh, keep in mind that we have a folder here uh, with name of local so in this local folder we are going to install uh, all of our plugins so for this video I have already created a plugin with the name of custom and if I want to create another plugin then I have to uh, define in this local folder so in this local folder create a directory with the name of uh, suppose we are creating our first plugin so I'm naming it as first plugin and in here is a directory with the name of first plugin and in this directory I have to create a file with the name of version.php which defines the version of our uh, local plugin so I am creating a file with the name of version.php in this version.php I have to uh, put cert something uh, which defines the version of this plugin and the version of Moodle which is required to build this plugin so I'm copying it and pasting it here by pasting it here uh, we have our version.php set as uh, uh, our plugin component will be the name of our plugin by which it, it will be installed like uh, my plugin name is first plugin so I have to write local underscore it means it is in the local directory local underscore uh, if it is in mod directory then we will be writing a component as mod underscore like that so it is in local directory so I am writing it local underscore custom not, not custom this plugin name is first plugin so it will be local underscore first underscore plugin so yeah and uh, I have to provide a certain version of plugin so let it be this and uh, for this plugin version the Moodle require require version is this so yes apart from it uh, as I want to show you some output so I'm creating a file in this plugin with the name of index.php so I'm, I'm writing as index.php over here and after that I will be writing some code so for this in this PHP file I am creating a uh, my first document so I'm writing title as first doc and yes after this uh, I will be providing a heading that uh, this is my first document and after this when this is done then we are ready to install our first plugin when you go to here and when you re you will reload the page then you will see that server check will be done and in this server check your plugin will be installed click on the continue button and you can see that there is a plugin name which is newly created as first underscore plugin with a version of this and the Moodle require version is this and it is to be installed to be installed so when you upgrade Moodle databases then it will say that uh, upgrading to new version local first plugin is installed successfully so when you will click it uh, when you on click on the continue button you will be redirected to notification page and 
and the very important thing is that how we will see the output of uh, our installed plugin so we can go to Moodle this and we have to cut the path from here and type local and then the plugin name first underscore plugin and here here it is our plugin is installed with the name of this is my first document if you go to this path again I'm copying it and pasting it in another tab and after that when I provide my I am here so how you can check that your plugin and how you can uninstall the plugin so you have to go to the site ad administration and in the site ad administration you will see uh, something called plugins you have to go there and you click on the plugins overview over here and after clicking on plugins overview you have to click on additional plugins and here two plugins are installed uh, first one is uh, I have created is local underscore plugin and right now for to demo you I have created another plugin with the name of first underscore plugin which is that and you can see that there is an uninstall button over here when you click on uninstall button so the plugin will be uninstalled okay so one more thing I will I want to tell you that uh, when you click on uninstall button then plugin will be uninstalled from here but uh, it will be reinstalled until and unless we manually do not remove this directory from here so I will show you if you click on the continue button then you will be redirected here again and when you click continue button it will be reinstalled again update Moodler databases when you update the Moodler databases it will be reinstalled again to uninstall it you have to do this thing that you have to manually remove this first underscore plugin from here go to site administration go to plugins and go to plugins overview click on additional plugins and just remove this plugin and it will be uninstalled from here then after that when you uninstall from here remove the directories from here so it is removed from here also so when you click continue on it then it is asking for updating databases so no plugins require your attention now so yeah it is not installed so that's the way to uninstall the plugin as well so you can find this code which I have done in in uh, yes you can find this code in the description of this video I will provide you the github link there so thanks for watching this video